So a little while ago I tried out a big armored vehicle belonging to Finland and now the Brits have an answer to that. This is the Vickers Mark 11 and if that turret looks familiar it's because it's the same turret as you'll get on the VFM 5. In fact it's the same gun as well. So they've taken the turret and gun from a very small tank and put it on the battle bus. This is gonna be interesting. So just one thing with the Mark 11, and I guess this is slight spoilers for an upcoming video, but compare it to the mouse. Like, just look at the size. And remember that the mouse was at one point considered the largest tank in the world. And then we have this. I think size is gonna be an issue. And if that wasn't enough, we have the new Battle Pass plane, which is the Striker Master Mark 88, the little Tweety bird from New Zealand. So I guess it's a Kiwi bird, except Kiwis don't fly, so that doesn't really work. But we're gonna find out anyway. Here we are. So we have a choice of Saber rounds as well as heat rounds, but this body is very large and not very well armored, which of course is not a good thing when you are like twice the height of the average MBT. In fact, I'm using this MBT-70 up here as an example, and I'm kind of sitting a little taller than he is, which could make it useful for sniping, potentially. So I'm going to just round this corner over here, and we're going to see what we can do with this. We're going to let the T-Tanks go by. I haven't played for a little bit, given that I've had internet issues for over a week. So I might be a little rusty, and this is probably not the best way to shake that rust off, I think. Now we do have actually decent gun depression. Compared to the CTCV, which is of course going to be the biggest comparison to something like this, it definitely has, I think, better gun depression. It, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it feels like it does. Alright, I've got some shots coming over from there. I think there we are. Alright, it's a hit. Not much going on there, though. I don't even know what I just shot at. Oh, it was a Begalighter. Well, why did my Sabo shatter against it? That makes no sense. All right, that VRCC just got taken out. So, looks like we've got people over in the middle, I think. We've gotta be a little sneaky here. I think we also have a laser rangefinder. We do. So, that's gonna be useful. All right, T-55 up here is engaged. What we got? Anything for me to shoot at? anything. It missed something. It's interesting, we only have one zoom level for this site, which is probably not ideal. It does make engaging anything close by a little tricky. All right, I'm just gonna try and stick to the ridges here. I don't know how loud this engine is getting as well. Wheeled vehicles in this game tend to be really loud. Oh, hello. Oh, just clipped him. Uh, read it out his engine, but he's not stopped. That's... Not what I was going for. I think I probably would have done better going with heat for this. So I think the heat round might have actually done a little better against something like that. Oh, hello. 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 No pen. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to heat. We got a little drone flying around as well. The reload rate on this isn't too bad. Alright, we can maybe get away here. I do have a little bit of a deck clearance issue over the rear. So you can't really shoot at anything behind you that well. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to remember that. It's definitely one of those front towards enemy type vehicles. <laughs> oh! Ah, helicopter got me. So that does give me a chance to take out the little kiwi bird. Let's see, what does this look like? Ooh, side by side. Very, very close proximity. You know, you're definitely rubbing shoulders. Hi, how are you? So, you gotta really like your co pilot. Now we got Sneb rockets, 47, 47, 72 of them rather, and uh, 762 machine guns. So, you're not going to be, you know, winning any battles as far as firepower goes. Uh, or range, for that matter. Its minimum load is 16 minutes of fuel. And uh, th this is a non-afterburning plane as well. Like, we only got that single engine in there. No afterburner. It does look a lot like a dragonfly, though. Like the uh, super tweet that was used in Vietnam. And I'm really hoping that that gets added to the game. Um, but it probably will end up being a premium or a battle pass vehicle, honestly, if it does. But do let me know down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about and if you want to see that in the game. Or, you know, any other, like, little ground attack plane uh, that you want to see in the game. Because we already have the Sky Raiders, but there were other planes that I think got overlooked. It's very maneuverable, though. Oh, that's a missile! That's a missile! Oh, I just dodged that! Helicopter! Oh, 
Turn, 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 turn. Ooh. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I was shooting at a dead helicopter. Yeah, I'm not sure that this works that well, if I'm viewing it that way. It's kind of a fun fact about the Mark 11 is that it's actually something that was never accepted into service. It was developed for the Australian Army, or the Australian Defense Force, and it went to trials, I think, but they just never really went anywhere. But it's funny because now, in fact, more, very recently, they have accepted a wheeled armored vehicle into service. So it's just funny to see how things kind of turn out. I think this Jagdpanzer over here has a similar idea. Kind of hanging around at the edge here and hoping we can snipe somebody. I hear a chopper. There he is! Oh, it's a cobra. Okay, let me back up here. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, he's been hit! Okay, I'm well out of position now. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, we're on fire. Come on, reload, reload, reload. I need to get the Sheridan. Come on! Alright, gotcha. My transmission's knocked out. Oh no! Oh, I missed! No! Well, I don't know what I was doing trying to shoot down that missile, but that was never gonna go anywhere. So maybe the magical little kiwi bird will do the job. I do really love the look of this plane. It has the most ambitious name ever. It's called the Strike Master. J just look at it and then put that name side by side with it. It's very aggressive for what it essentially is. All right, I got 262 up. He's got cannons, I just have a couple of little 762s, but we have rockets and somehow we're gonna make those rockets work. Mm. Honestly though, I think this plane would be better at a lower BR. I mean, it's not meant to be at 8.7, so I think at its actual BR, it, it could do all right. It's just not really great against SAMs. I mean, you got no flares, you're kind of slow. Uh, it doesn't really help, but then again, being slow is kind of useful against Sam's because you can turn really well. So it's not all bad. Let's have a look here. I see you. And rockets away. Oh, whoa, what just hit me? Whoa. Okay, that was weird. That looked extremely laggy. All right, so really quick, I wanted to see what the Strike Master would be like at its actual BR. So this is it at 6.7 or thereabouts. I didn't really get up tiered much, I think. I'm going with the rockets again just because they seem like the best loadout to go with. Apparently, this is a lot more nimble with uh, with the rockets compared to bombs, which makes sense. I mean, the bombs are really heavy, so yeah, you don't really want to be... And, and Oh, I don't know what they're shooting at. Uh oh Okay, rotate, and... Oh, that was the guy I was going to go for. Wait, is there somebody next to him? There he is! <laughs> Okay, it was a little bit overkill. It was an M109. I don't think he needed that. They barely have any armor as it is. Uh, I've got 18 rockets left, so I, I, I think I, I did him a little dirty there. I do love how visible exhaust smoke is now because it really helps just to make everything so much more visible now. And there we go. Rockets away. <laughs> All right, that's two for two, and away we go. A lot faster than any propeller plane at this BR, too. I think the only thing that really could keep up with this, I don't know about any of the American planes, but at least in the British tech tree, the only thing that comes close to the speed-wise is the Wyvern. So, yeah, it's a good plane at its BR, honestly. The, the guns leave something to be desired, and I don't see any enemy planes up for me to shoot at, so I'd say that's a good and successful test. So I seem to have found a situation that the Strike Master might not be so great at. There's four enemy planes in the air right now, so time to see if this is any good as a fighter. I feel like the answer to that question might not be super surprising. But I scored some hits, and he's on me! Oh, something blew up. Something, something blew up on, on my plane. Yep, I think he might have been hitting my rocket pods. 
Now, supposedly the advantage of all these wheeled vehicles is speed. And it is true that uh, tracked vehicles do suffer in the top speed department compared to anything with wheels. That being said though, the quoted maximum speed of the Mark 11 is 105. And I'm yet to do that. I mean, with the CTCV and with the Striker, you definitely can do those kinds of speeds. It does happen. This seems to struggle a little more. It could be a weight issue, and it could also be a um, engine power issue. It does have a lot less engine power, I think, than the other two, so that could be part of the problem. I can hear a helicopter. Oh, it wasn't a helicopter. So one good thing with the Mark 11 is that it has the scouting ability, given that it is a light tank. The downside, of course, is that at if you're going to use any vehicle to farm scouting, this might be one of the more difficult ones to try doing it with. You are just really big and visible, so it isn't it isn't really the easiest to do it with. All right, going out wide to flank the C point here. You can hopefully get close enough without being seen. These big antennas on top of my tank are definitely not gonna help with that. All right, so sitting back and hiding didn't really help. So we're going to try something different. It's like sniping, but a lot more aggressive and a lot shorter ranged. I'm going to try that. All right, I think there's something right there. There was something right there. Okay, I knocked out his gun. I don't know what's there. I can't see beyond the fire and now I'm blocked by smoke. Okay, whatever it was is dead now. Oh, I hear something that might be a helicopter. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is actually a helicopter, not like last time. Yep, that is a helicopter. Uh, let's set range and... Ooh, that was close. It was close. Oh, I'm using heat rounds. That doesn't help. Uh, heat rounds move slower. It is harder to hit a helicopter that way. Oh, that was a perfect hit. <laughs> Okay, that worked a lot better than I was expecting it to. But it is nice when they go in a straight line, you know. Oh, what are you? Uh, re reverse speed. Reverse speed is not great, just uh, in case you're uh, looking at playing this. Reverse speed definitely leaves something to be desired. We're going up and over the ridge. Alright, let's see if I can get a shot on you. There we go. Oh, it was an assist. Oh, we lost a couple of tires. That was definitely a helicopter. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I, I don't see the helicopter, though. Because let me tell you, at this BR, 762s might not be the biggest caliber, but they'll do something against a helicopter. Oh, I see something. Oh, that's hitting me. Oh. Oh, I got him. I got him. I'm full of holes. Do I still have engine power? I do. Just a little. Oh, I don't have much control, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much of anything else. I, th I think my engine's hit though. Honestly, I think that was a good enough outcome. And you go face first with uh, a ZSU. And so we go into the bushes. Bye bye. Wait a minute, both pilots survived that somehow. I will take it. Honestly though, I'm starting to think that this more or less just does whatever the Vickers tanks do. Which is not the most insightful thing, really. To say but if the vfm can do it the mark 11 can do it it's just the vfm has the advantage of being smaller harder to see harder to hit this kind of only manages that halfway and by halfway i mean if you go here and you know use its fantastic gun depression which doesn't really exist over the front, which is weird because it actually has better gun depression over the sides. So at the beginning of the video, I said front towards enemy type of tank, and that's kind of not really true. It's a broadside type of tank where you want your side facing the enemy. But at the same time, you do have to bear in mind it doesn't have good reverse speed. There's definitely somebody to the left of the C point. That's what took out the leopard over there. Oh, they're capping the C point. But who's doing it? Oh, there we go. Oh, did I just overlays that? I did, didn't I? But he didn't, he didn't notice. He didn't notice. It's okay. There we go. I got one. All right, get out of here. Come on, put your back into it. 10 kilometers an hour. We can do it. Yeah, reverse speed is definitely not the forte of a tank like this. I mean, I hesitate to say tank because it really isn't one. It just isn't. There we go. T92. 
It's a good counter to little light tanks as well with its heat rounds. As somebody who definitely prefers heat rounds, uh, I do appreciate a tank that has good ones. All right, let's figure out what shot at me. Because that, that was scary. I didn't like that. All right, enemy aircraft. There we go. Oh, that was not a good hit. There's a Bradley. Um, I think I hit his trooper compartment. Oh, he's peeking out again. Uh, I don't think I can get a good hit on him from here. Oh! What is that? Alright, I think I need to relocate. There's way too much heat over this way. I survived an airstrike that I probably shouldn't have. A check for anybody else. I think that I I think that Bradley's still alive. Yeah, I think he's still alive. Is there anything alive? Oh! Turn. Oh no. Where did that come from? Oh, he was right next to me. I got distracted by the plane. Well, that was kind of a anticlimactic end. I got distracted by the plane and I didn't see a tank sitting there with its engine off. Did I just see a muzzle flash over there? Did I? I did. And rockets away. And I missed. <laughs> That's half my rockets and I completely missed. I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, it was a BMP. Okay. Pretty sure you can kill a BMP with a 50 cal. Like, let me know down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure you can kill a BMP with 50 caliber from certain angles. Unless I'm thinking of a totally different vehicle. So the Vickers Mark 11 in this snazzy looking camo, by the way, that it's got. I kind of like it. I don't like most of the wheeled sort of half tank, half APC type vehicles that are in the game. Uh, the Striker is probably the only one I kind of like. Uh, I say kind of because it is sometimes a bit of a pain to use. But the Mark 11 is definitely in that sort of vein where it does have some of the advantages of a wheel vehicle that I like without too many of the downsides. I'd say the biggest downside is just how big it is and the fact that you don't really get the most out of it if you're pointing forwards. You have to point it like this, or at least somewhat sideways to get maximum gun depression. So when it really comes down to it, you're going to end up doing this on hills quite a lot. Coming up to it, rotating around, peeking like that, like taking a shot, and then like going forwards sort of in this circular motion like this. And when you do that, you're exposing your rear to the enemy, and you have this rear end like that that's huge by the way it's got a big butt and the gun points like that so you can't even engage somebody sitting right behind you so you've got this huge weak spot right here and that's not to mention that that exposes all of your crew like have a look at the crew layout your crew is exposed from shots like that so realistically it is going to take a lot of adjustment to use right and its size is it's is honestly just its biggest disadvantage and that's what's going to make it a bit of a struggle to use for people especially you know anyone who's new to the game i have heard it said a lot that if you're new to the game to not play the British tech tree at all because the tanks are just harder to get used to uh and this is a uh, just a prime example of that. Is it good? Yes. Is it easy to use? Absolutely not. And I think that's how it goes with a lot of the wheeled tanks and especially this one. But let me know what you think of the Vickers Mark 11 down in the comments because I would love to know how you guys are getting on with it. It has been out for a little while now. Uh, mainly because I haven't got around to making videos for a little bit. Loads of reasons. And now that I'm back, uh, I can see that, you know, a lot of people are playing these these tanks and they're not really sure how to use them. So this is what I found. And if it's helpful for you, if you're struggling with it, then uh, let me know as well. But of course, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.